the reason why I believe in God so hard is because I strayed so far away from the idea of God and the existence of God. Like, even, like, I grew up in the church and, like, I was abused by my stepmother and I used to, like, wonder, like, why why god like allowed that to happen and like why if like god is so real and if he's so powerful why did he allow me to go through such painful things as an innocent person on this planet like because i'd like to think that I didn't really deserve what I went through even though it happened and it was it's hurtful like it's painful to be mistreated when you're helpless is that the word like when you're dependent on someone and they mistreat you but I know that I'm not the only one with that story and I know that if I didn't go through those things, like, I wouldn't be the person I am today. If I wasn't, like, led astray from God. Like, if I didn't go through those painful, dark experiences. And that's why I feel like pain pain matters because like it's a part of the process of developing of becoming like who you're you're meant to be um I've been through a lot of pain in my life and like I never thought that I would get to a place where, like, I actually trust in a God. And it's like, even when I was going through those painful experiences, like, God was showing me that he was always there. Like, I remember there was this one time when, um, like, my stepmother used to, like, antagonize me like in the mornings before school I would go to school crying and things like that I know my like old classmates from elementary school probably remember like me coming and crying like I used to just be like so fed up and just over it like and I remember one morning my stepmother was just doing a lot I don't remember what she exactly what she was doing but she was antagonizing me and um, I went I just went walked outside of my house and sat on the stairs like just sat on the stairs and waited for my dad to take me to school because like I'm young and I'm in this situation where I'm being antagonized and abused where I live at and there's nothing I can do about it and I was crying like I was just sitting on the stairs crying and I look I look like next to me and there's a white cat sitting next to me and I love cats but there was just this white cat sitting next to me and it was like rubbing on me. And I, I never seen this cat before in our neighborhood. And I never seen that cat again after that happened. But, and I didn't see it walk up to me either. I just looked next to me and it was there sitting next to me and it was rubbing on me. And it just made me feel so much better like it made me feel like um like scion you're not alone like 
you're going through pain right now but you're not alone and my pain that I've been through like throughout my childhood and stuff like that has always weighed like very heavy on me but it was never like too much that I couldn't bear like God always made sure that there was something in my life to like balance out pain the happiness and the pain in my life so that I can get through it if you get what I'm saying like it's never I've been blessed to a point point where like my even though there's hardships there's also blessings too that keep me sane like when I was younger and I was getting abused I had my stepbrothers who were my age and I could relate to them and like hang out with them and stuff and it was a fun time being around them and that took my mind off of the fact that I was being abused like like I feel like God lets us go through things because the things that we go through eventually brings us closer to him and I'm saying him I don't think that God is a male but I'm just saying him just to say him I truly believe that like God makes us allows us to go through things so that so that we can eventually get closer to him and he works in very mysterious ways like i was into new age spirituality i was comfortable in it i was happy in it it made me feel good like it made me feel connected to my ancestors it made me feel connected to my roots and i'm not saying that those things are bad but I'm saying that like when you get to a point where like you're not acknowledging God and everything that you do like it kind of defeats the purpose of your spirituality because God is the one who created us and he created us out of love and sometimes we stray from him because we go through things that make us feel like he's not there. I've been through I've been through things and like felt like God wasn't there for me even though I always knew that um God existed because of this creation that I live in and the fact that there's so much of it about it that I don't understand it's like something beyond me created this but it's not really something that I think about that much until now but I think about like everything I've been through in the sp space that I'm in now and it like makes me so emotional because like I've been through a lot of like spiritual attacks like I feel like with working with new age spirituality trying to connect with ancestors and things like that which i'm not saying is a bad thing but like i've been like in the spiritual realm and i feel like i've opened up doors to things when um being in the spiritual realm and stuff like that and i feel like I have been like spiritually attacked by things and I've seen like awful wicked things in my reality and and I feel like God was like protecting me from all that like I feel like God was protecting my mind and my spirit um I feel like it's a requirement for me to go through a lot of negativity but I 
think that like God is always protecting my spirit and like always protecting protecting my ability to remain who I am which is a loving caring individual individual who is passionate about love and spreading love and light and being a light in this very dark society so um I'm just I'm just grateful for that um I'm I don't want to like sometimes I talk about God and I feel like I sound corny and like but I don't want to be perceived that way because like with everything I've been through like my love for the most high is truly truly genuine because like with everything I've been through like the abuse and stuff like that um I could have lost my mind like with like abuse mixed in with like unhealthy coping skills low self-esteem like I could have like completely lost my mind and like never came back to be to to be a person of love and light but I feel like through God's grace I've remained I've remained in my identity and now I'm in a space where where like I have a personal connection with God like I don't like to pray I like to write so I write letters to God in this book and that's how I that's why I say that like your connection with God has to be personal you have to find what works for you when it comes to connecting with God you don't have to do the things that other people do you don't have to do the things that are expected of you because to me like the idea of God is so vast like think of the idea of God and like how intelligent he must be if he is all-knowing and can see into all of our experiences like sometimes I feel like people tend to box God in to this one specific type of image or this one specific type of person but it's like I see God as this vast energy who knows everything and if he knows everything then I should be able to write to him about anything I'm going through and I should be able to get understanding and love and unconditional love and things like that like if no one in this world understands me I know that God understands me and it's through that personal relationship that I get my strength and liberation it's through that personal relationship that I'm able to understand things about myself and about life like it's through that personal relationship that I've been delivered from anxiety and suicidal thoughts and things like that so like sometimes like God doesn't seem like he's present in your life but he's there and I'm only saying he because like I like saying he but God is not even a he like God is the energy 
that created us out of love and um and like i just um feel the need i just i just feel the need to talk about like my my journey my journey when it comes to me and god because um i feel like it could help i feel like it could help someone like because i've been through that phase i've been through those phases where it seemed like god was absent from my life like and i'm genuine like i'm not like a fake phony religious person i love god because i've genuinely like seen god protect me i've seen i've like felt comfort like god has shown me things like i i love god because not because i grew up in the church and like someone told me to love god i love god because like for one i realized that god created me to i see his hand in my life and how he has like taken me from going down the wrong path to a better path where because the path i was on like i was into like new age spirituality but i was still like feeling depressed i was still not making good decisions i was still feeling lost and things like that not to say that i don't like still struggle sometimes with things but it's like i can go to my notebook and talk to god about it and because i'm learning who god is it's like i feel that understanding like i feel like i'm not alone i feel that understanding so um yeah my stomach hurts so um i'm gonna end this video this is a message that i just felt like i needed to share and um i hope i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope that this has been an encouragement to you my stomach has been hurting all day but i've been ignoring it because um it's been a blessed day and yeah.